This theater is very overcrowded. It needs lots of space to survive in this inhospitable environment. Yeah, I'd call that inhospitable, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, what are the, uh, the little things about Eco I hope they never get rid of? is the game's ability to put trees where trees ought not to be. Uh, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chop this down from down there. I want to see what happens. I have a feeling this tree is going to spaz out and throw debris everywhere. Now granted, it's not even that big. It's just actually kind of in my way. Another another 60 hours. Yeah! What the... Just let my computer run for another like, three days. No, I, uh, this tree is in the way. Now, this is partially my mistake. Partially my mistake for, uh, going with an overhang here. And I want you to watch how kind of framey things get. This is one, one thing I would like to see them fix. Where are you going, tree? Anywhere special? No, I don't think so. So right now, see, the problem with recording stuff ahead of time is that uh, in time between now and when I last recorded, the game's gone through three updates. So right now, near bottom corner, 0802 beta. There's actually an 0803, but it's uh, all the upgrades, f the updates for 0803 are uh, server stuff. So I'm not really worried about it. I don't play this by myself at the moment. So server stuff isn't a big deal. I think it's got something to do with uh the way currency or currencies handled in mints and things like that. Go away. So I'll probably wait till whatever they fix in uh 0804. Maybe it'll be a tree thing. I don't know. Maybe they'll make it so the game doesn't bog down when you can't gain experience for the things you're doing? Time will tell. Now one thing I have noticed that right now we've got I've got a ton of stone, I've got a ton of wood, an awful lot of tier 1 materials. Tier 1 materials are are useful but not the things you want to be playing with uh, a month into gameplay. Not quite a month, but two weeks? Two and a half weeks. Anyway, while I applaud the addition of clay, I'd, actually, I do like the clay texture. This looks like a big wad of clay, right? It's all it's cracks in it. It's got uh, mushiness. It looks like clay. Excellent job. The problem is how much you need to do anything with it. I'll just fill up my cart here and I'll meet you over at the uh, at our kilns over there. Alright, get up. Get Apex Predator coming through. Come on. Go up. Go. Dig a hole or something. Jeez. Well, I got most of my cart full. Now, as I said, the problem with brick so looking at 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Oh, looking at a lot of clay, right? I'm... Of course I'm out of pitch. Each one of those units of clay turns into one unit of brick. No, it's... A, yeah. That's kind of terrible. Kind of really terrible. I haven't tried the shale bricks yet, though. With it. You know, here, I'm going to go find some shale. I'm assuming, because the recipe doesn't change, this requires four shale. Ish, four shale. And then varying amounts of everything else. Because of the way the efficiencies work. Go track down some shale. I'll be right back. Well, wow, this is unfortunate. No, it's just regular everyday brick. Well, poo. I was hoping for another brick texture. We can always hope, can't we? 
Got all the same things as before. Block. Not a floor. That weird shaped thing. It's supposed to be a floor. But it's got, uh, it's got texture issues with it or something. If I recall correctly. Yeah, there we are. You can see right through. You see straight white there, right? Yeah, that doesn't quite... They still look cool. They still... Still a very nice block. That's the same. Columns the same. Windows. That's still the same. Yeah, okay. I was kind of hoping that we would get a new brick texture. But I guess they just had to crush that idea flat. Well, I don't know. What? No, I don't want that one. Yeah, I went and got a little bit of uh, pitch, but not enough to do anything with. But the first thing, the first thing today, so I have cleared this out. Now, I'm not sure if I'm putting my kitchen, like the big kitchen we're going to have, or a workshop here. And I have a feeling I'm maybe I'm going to go with a workshop. The problem being that it's, it's not big enough it's it's not big enough for the final big huge workshop we tend to wind up with at least in four space but it's far far too big for the little workshop to get you all the stuff to the big workshop right like the one that's got uh, was it the lathe screw press all the Victorian looking stuff before you get into electricity now I could put a kitchen here. It would be quite large enough for a kitchen. It'd be quite very large enough for a kitchen. And then I guess I could put my workshop over here. Over here. Hmm. First order of business anyway. The first thing I have to actually do. Got a ton of brick. First thing I actually have to do. Get what is it with you guys? Go spawn somewhere else. Is that we have we have one tier two material. We have other tier two material, and I'm still not entirely sure where to put this. Sawmill, so yeah, I managed to smelt just enough iron to do a couple of things and do a bit of research. We over yes, that's a that's a giant bridge from here to there, because carrying 20 units of ore is not it's not an option. And that's a stockpile. And that's what it's doing over there. Yeah, it's kind of gross. I think I think we're gonna have to bury that, properly bury it. Gonna have to go over here. Dig the big, long, way down. Now the other issue is that this continent isn't very big. Oh, we've got a jungle, we've got a desert. It's not very wide across, right? Which means if I wanted to dig a, a dig down, I'd have to start somewhere around here and then down and probably over sideways in the hopes of ending up somewhere around here not near this chunk of water. That's a long way down, though. Because that's... Actually, I couldn't tell you where... What Y elevation that's at. Can I zoom in on something here? Anvil. 70. So I would have to go down 30 blocks-ish. Down to 40. And I'm trying to remember where bedrock is. What was it last time? Like 20? But at a 4 to 1 slope, that's that's a shaft 100 blocks long. So if I go with this, 46. Nope, second one. So from here, 362 to there, we have to go straight down and then probably curl. 
That's a lot of digging. That's a shockingly large amount of digging. However, it's digging in... It's digging in a desert. Where we should find a lot more iron. We're going to need a lot of iron. Not right right now, I mean... In terms of iron, quite... I don't have the, the capacity to smell any of this yet. Trace amounts of gold. And I didn't find copper. I did find some copper. The problem is copper spawns in like uh, cold forest biomes. So my copper that I found, I think it's way over here. Looks something I dug up. Player activity, right there. Yeah, it's a bit of running around. There's copper under them in our hills. The problem is There's an awful lot of hills between them, our hills, and the base. <laughs> it's be quite a road. Quite a road. A road I can build, but things will have to move. We're going to need copper, but not like right, right, right now. Right? We'll need it, but not super duper right now. So what... Also, I want to finish this crossroads off, which will be moving all of this stone. And then putting... See, I could... The problem with lumber in this game... The big problem with lumber in this game is waiting for it to grow back. Five days for trees to grow back. It's not a reasonable amount of time for someone that wants to play this game like you play Minecraft. It just isn't. Yeah, there's lots of trees over here, but then I have to cut them down and bring them somewhere. I would like to have my lumber in a reasonably central location. Yep, it's going to wind up going here. I'll have to move all of this stuff. Can't. These trees over here are real awesome, but they are essentially inaccessible. Given the terrain between here and there. They are effectively inaccessible. I don't feel like building a road through that. But this stuff here, we can hack down and replant, and then, like, kind of like last time, right? Just let my computer run. We'll get all this stuff built. I'll throw down a lumber mill, and we'll see what we're looking like then. So what's been uh, seconds for you has been over an hour and a half of messing around with floor plans, trying to come up with something other than just your standard box with holes in the side for entry. And the end result has been a box with another box stuck on the side. Yeah, I decided to turn the shadows on here just because I every now and then you want to be able to play this game in beautiful quality. And uh because all I've got in is the floor plan, everything might kind of disappear against the, uh, the, you know, the clutter. It's all, it's all one color right now. I thought about going with a different color for the floor, but, you know, I can still do that. I can still pull that out. I can put something else there. I don't have anywhere near enough mortared granite right now. Maybe at some point we'll come in, we'll pull the whole floor out, we'll put in something else just to make this a bit more interesting. But, we've got, went and made another sawmill, so we'll have uh, two of these here. This is going to be, I'll have to fill this in temporarily, because this guy makes one of our most favorite things. Great big ass doors. <clears throat> and I like those great big doors, because they really open a, a space up. It's going to be a long time before we get the steel roll up one. Uh which would, I would love to have, but that's not a real, not a realistic thing right now. We'll drag uh, the carpenter's table from up there. It's going to go right there. That way we've got this one place. It's just all of our lumber stuff, right? Because this is where we're going to cut down trees. And that, uh, I saw that. So we're still just, just a tool casting a shadow. Okay. Okay. Oh, I had a... I believe, there you are. Here. Nope, not the dirt. 
whole bunch of this. <clears throat> We're going to go with this, a wood roof. I'm going to go with a uh, hewn log for the roof just because not only does it look a little bit better, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, we, uh, we have significantly more of it. So because this is a stockpile, this is going to be five high. So we're at one, two, three, four, five, six. So this whole chunk of the building is going to be really, really tall. And then that part is going to stick off the side. Now, thankfully, this part of the building is going to be two, three, four, five. The only thing going here are the, these supports. Just so... Mostly just so the building look... I think the building look better with it. Rather than have this building, this chunk and that chunk, come together awkwardly here, which it's going to happen. It's just going to be kind of awkward right here. There's not much we can do about that. But... That means this chunk of the building... <clears throat> oh, i got to go one more higher there, don't I? This building here will be rather tall. And this building can kind of stick off the side like a garage. Now this is, there's going to be, I'm not going to lie, there's going to be a lot of wasted space in this building. We're going to go with a lot of windows to uh, make up for all that wasted space. I could go with a second floor, but I'm not sure where I would put the stairs. I think I'll have to put the stairs on the outside. If I put the stairs here, that would kind of get in the way of a lot of things, wouldn't it? Hmm. Tell you what, I'm going to put the... I'm going to get this ground floor done. And hopefully not run out of too many materials. And we'll see what it looks for trying to fit a... Before I put the roof on, we'll see if it's worth putting in a second floor. Or maybe we can just leave it open for later on. I can put something else up on the top floor. I don't know. I'm going to throw a bunch of blocks down, and we'll get a look at it for you really quickly. Me? Uh, I guarantee another hour. Ugh. Well, what did I say? An hour-ish. In the time it took us to do that, we picked up another star. Pretty sure I have some one in... Yes, I sank one into lumber. Haven't done anything yet, though. So the first thing I do is find out whether or not... How poorly have I misjudged this room? Because I need to get one of those nice, big, beautiful doors in here. Uh, storage in... Got the stockpiles everywhere. <laughs> Chests and carts. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I need 15 lumber, right? That says I need 15 lumber. So let's make... Oh, my God, it's going to take a while. It's going to take seven minutes. Well, I'm sure we can sit here and I can regale you with all kinds of stories about... The weirdest part was that my sinuses were clear for like three or four days afterwards. I wouldn't recommend the experience, but it was definitely... Definitely one that... Oh, hey, we're done. Okay, cool. Where's my... Uh... How big are you again? Watch me turn out to have shot myself in the foot with this thing being five tall. Can't place their blocked. Okay, let's spin around that way. Oh, that's why, because that thing's there. And there, uh, I, I do not at all miss fighting with this thing. You are four tall. Okay, cool. So I get you out of the way. Drag you around a corner. I'll pop you out. I'll take all of these temporary windows out of here. Unfortunately, i got to think of something... I'm not sure how I'm going to fix that daffy little spot there. It's because of the way some things go together. You are... Around. Oh, you're five wide, aren't you? Don't tell me you're five wide. 
Ah! Damn it. I should have known. I should have goddamn known. Alright. Well, it's gotta go in, don't it? You just come down. You can break. Let's see, I can move. I got room, I can move that wall out. And it'll fit. It'll work, and I can make lumber. And then I can start in on... Uh, go away, you. I can start in on this stuff, like the kitchen. I have to go smelt some iron for that, but that's no big deal. I don't... I need a bunch of shelves and shelf cabinets for things to look nice. I need a wo wooden fabric bed. Once I have enough tier 2 materials to, uh, to build a tier 2 house... And, yeah, right now that's lumber and brick, isn't it? I'm going to have to come up with some kind of design that doesn't look like... Doesn't look like the last one. Which is unfortunate, because to me, brick and lumber are, uh... You know what, am I going to do this? Am I going to... Can I just throw you there and not worry about it? Does that look bad? I think that looks okay. I, you know what? I'm fine with this. We've got balls. There. So we come in here and do whatever we want. Still counts as a room because that's got a door. Yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do. All right, I gotta make a whole bunch of. I'm not sure I can make paper. Can I? Do I have that ability? Skill benefits brings it down. Says I can make it. Let's make sure of this before I go too far. I can I can make paper. Okay, cool. We'll drag a bunch of stuff over here. We're gonna have to commit a whole lot of tree murder for all the materials we'll need. That that corner of the building looks so bad. Why did you not tell me that looked like that? Why didn't you people tell me that looked that bad? Well, what we can do is we were thinking about adding an extra floor anyway, right? If we add an extra floor... Shut up, furnace. If we add an extra floor, it'll deal with that stupid little... Come down. Come, come down. You. It'll deal with that stupid little spot there. If I run that up even higher. If you can think of something to put on the second floor of that, I'm all ears. Aside from like maybe a bed and like an office and stuff like that. Then I gotta think of a way to get up there too. That's the next problem. I didn't leave a lot of room for a stairwell. I'd have to pull this out of here. If you've got any suggestions, leave them for me in the comments. Hopefully I won't have completely ruined whatever ideas you come up with by then. But, I will see you guys... I'm not sure what my next project is after this. I know it's building a house. That's going to be a bit. we got to work on a kitchen and stuff, too. It's probably going to be over there. Anyway, that will be... I will see you for that in the future. About a week from after I record this. I'll see you later.